Hello, 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 welcome. I just wanted to talk a little bit about one of my experiences with Arch Linux and uh, yeah, some of the consequences of messing around with partitions a little bit. So, so when I first um, installed Arch with Arch install and I just let it use the partition manager to do its thing. It made a one gigabyte boot partition, 50 gigabytes for the root partition, and then the rest of my two terabyte NVMe was for the uh, home directory. And so naturally, you know, in this day and age, as we um, download packages and all sorts of things, that 50 gigabytes really start to take up a lot of space and I had like 48 gigabytes occupied and I couldn't do a uh, system update. And so I was like, let me try to expand it. And I mean, on the wiki it's and, and things like that, it was generally recommended to, you know, boot into the live image of the Arch ISO and then use FDisk to partition whatever drive you're interested in. Now I have two NVMEs. I um, but for the most part, I transferred a lot of my OBS recordings to that second NVMe for my 60 hours of gameplay of Elden Ring that I completely finished and a good chunk of like maybe 10 hours of Sekiro. And I put like important documents, I transferred over to my NAS, but honestly, I was kind of being a little lazy and was like, oh, it's on the second NVMe, it's okay. Um, I'm not touching that NVMe. You know, it's much faster transferred over to that NVMe and kind of let it sit still rather than transfer hundreds of gigabytes over to my, you know, NAS. And yeah, so that didn't turn out super well because um, what ended up happening is that what I didn't realize is I had to, you know, this was, there was a lot of troubleshooting that I had to do here. So I was like, I booted into the live ISO several times and you can see here there's NVMe one and one, and then you have your boot. And then I ultimately gave up and just let root and home be together. And then I have my second NVMe that I have mounted. And in this case it's NVMe zero and one. But what I didn't realize was this could change depending upon which NVMEs initialized every boot. And that's okay because, you know, you're normally using your UUID, which will specifically point to the NVMe, let's say for boot and for your home directory and your root directory. And so it doesn't matter if it's, you know, one or zero. However, because I was doing this several times and it was getting frustrating um, because one of the big things I was running into was I would expand it to 150 gigabytes for my root partition, denote the starting sector, the ending sector, everything was great. And then I would try to boot and it just would not boot. It kept failing to recognize the UUID. Um, and I was putting it in correctly in the you know ETC F stab when I was looking at it everything lined up to what it currently was for the new partitions as well and it refused to do that and eventually as i was like trying to repartition and reformat to x ext4 i was just so in autopilot assuming that it was nvme1 and then my two nvme numbers switched on one boot up and so when i quickly formatted you know mmkfs.ext4 to the new NVMe zero, I had it reversed and I just wiped all my recordings for Elden Ring and, and Sekiro, which, you know, it's not the end of the world because it's not like the most important piece of data that I absolutely need for like work or anything like that. Um, honestly, the only thing I was disappointed about losing was uh, it took me like five hours to beat Melania. And yeah, I was really hoping to make a video about my experience until I finally got was able to beat her. Um, she was like the hardest boss I ever fought. I think every other boss in Elden Ring took me, you know, 45 minutes or less. I would probably say 30 minutes or less. Um, but man, she was hard, but I finally got her and I was hoping to make one, but you know, it is what it is. And I had some really good footage of Sekiro too. That's so much fun uh, playing that. But that's a, a, I still have Black Myth Wukong footage uh, to keep continue uploading so you'll see more of that but I, I thought I would share this a little bit because for some reason it was just chaos I tried so many things I deleted once I had my manual partitions 
set where I had one gigabyte, 150 gigabytes for the root, and uh, the 1.6 or 7 terabytes for the home directory, what ended up happening is I was like, okay, let's just reinstall Arch and I'll tell Arch to use the pre-configured partitions because that was an available R option. And so I had Arch do that, but it wouldn't boot. It just failed to recognize the UUID for some reason, again, and I could not figure out why. But if I went back to Arch install and let it do its own partitioning where it only does 50 gigabytes to the root, it was like totally fine. Totally, totally fine. Very clean install, totally fine. So then I was like, you know what? Forget Arch install. I will manually do the command lines for every single part of Arch install through from the Arch wiki where I just do the manual installation. And I did the partitioning and it still did not work. I was like, what the actual hell? Like it would not recognize, it kept re reverting to part UUID and nobody, no matter what I asked, I, you know, referenced the Arch wiki. I asked like four different AIs. I asked ChatGPT, I asked Google Gemini, I asked like DuckDuckGo's AI or whatever, which is based off GPT-4. Nobody could figure out what was going on. I could, I was losing my goddamn mind. The number of times I went into the EFI boot manager to figure out why the hell it couldn't boot and I was being dropped into emergency set shell. I, I tried to grep part UUID and I couldn't find where this like lingering part UUID reference was failing to recognize where everywhere else I had the correct UUID uh, referencing what it needed to reference to be able to identify what partition and what drive it needed to boot from, but it, it just refused. And so then I finally was like, fuck it. We're just combining root and home. And that's what you're seeing here. I mean, there's my boot one gig and then I just left the rest. I'm just like, combine the root and the home. I'm done with this bullshit. And yeah, that's where I am. I lost some data, but not the end of the world. What I will say is this was kind of partially my own doing, right? I went in and decided to, to change the partitioning. Um, whereas like there have been uh, several times where I've just been excited to game and I turn it on and Windows gives me the blue screen and is like, this is unrecoverable. We have to do a clean install. I'm like, what? This is nonsense. So in that sense, yeah, I lost some data, but I also was tinkering around quite a bit. It wasn't just like, you know, I turned on my computer and it was like, we gonna, we gonna just show a blue screen. But the silver lining of all of this is that I did a completely clean manual install of Arch Linux where like I don't even have a proper greeter. I just log in through the command line. Um, very, very low. I just have X11, BSPWM um, with PyCom. And I've been kind of just enjoying like adding every single thing myself just for fun and doing some, you know, proper Linux ricing as I'm sure many experts out there <laughs> love to do kind of just been fun tinkering around with that and uh i don't have windows i don't i still don't think i'm gonna go back to windows on on my main computer i still love playing around with linux i honestly really enjoy gaming on linux i feel like it's been really really nice to game on linux but yeah i thought it would be a fun little story to share because uh, i'm in no way an expert in linux i mean i have some familiarity with it over the years yeah, I was kind of curious what other people thought too, because it was just wild that I tried so many things for so, like several days trying to figure out what in God's name was referencing this random part UUID when I could not find it any of any, any of the boot manager log files or and any of the it was just yeah it was driving me crazy. And it like magically worked when in some cases but as soon as the root partition went yeah, uh, if you do have any ideas, feel free to leave a comment. This is, you know, I really like a little collaborative space here. So, yeah, I would love to hear what people's thoughts are. Um, until next time, peace out, guys.